Today's topic is renal cell carcinoma. Renal cell carcinoma is the most commonly form of kidney cancer in adults, accounting for about 90 to 95 percent of all cases of kidney cancer. There are two kidneys in our body, located on each side of the backbone just above the waist. There are tiny tubes in the kidney called tubules that filter and clean the blood, aid in excreting waste products, and help make urine. Renal cell carcinoma originates in the lining of the tubules. This means that the condition occurs when cancer cells start growing uncontrollably in the lining of the tubules of the kidney. Renal cell carcinoma occurs mostly in older people, especially men, usually between the ages of 50 and 70. It often starts as a single mass of the tumor, but sometimes more than one tumor can grow in one or both kidneys. The condition is also referred to as renal cell cancer, is fast growing and often metastasized to the lungs and surrounding organs. Where cancer has not metastasized or eaten deep into the kidney, the five year survival rate is usually about 65 to 90 percent, but this is lowered considerably if otherwise. Causes The exact cause of the condition is unknown, but doctors know that renal cell carcinoma occurs when something triggers a genetic mutation within the cells in the kidney. These cause normal cells in the kidney to become abnormal and multiply rapidly and continue to accumulate, forming a tumor or mass. Certain risk factors that may increase the risk of renal cell carcinoma are smoking, obesity, occasional exposure to certain chemicals such as lead, asbestos, and cadmium, long-term use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, a family history of the condition, dialysis treatment, hypertension, some inherited condition, especially von Hippel-Lindau disease, polycystic kidney disease, Symptoms. No symptoms may appear in the early stage, but as cancer progresses, symptoms may include fatigue, loss of appetite, blood in the urine, unexplained weight loss, vision problems, excessive hair growth in women, a lump on the side, belly, or lower back, fever, persistent pain in the side, night sweats, and anemia. Diagnosis and treatment. To make a diagnosis, the doctor will review your medical and family history. The doctor will then carry out a physical examination to assess your general health, including checking for lumps in the abdomen or large veins in the scrotal sac in men. If the condition is diagnosed, the doctor will carry out some other tests to get an accurate diagnosis. These may include a CT scan to get a closer look at the kidney to detect any abnormal growth. Urine examination to detect blood in the urine and analyze cells in the urine looking for evidence of cancer. Complete blood count. Biopsy, abdominal, and kidney ultrasound. The stages of cancer are determined based on how far it has spread. This will help the doctor to determine the best treatment option. Tests such as chest x-ray, CT scan, and blood test can be used to determine your cancer stage. These range from 1 to 4. Stage 1. Cancer is confined to the kidney and is a diameter of 7 centimeters or smaller. Stage 2. Cancer is still limited or confined to the kidney, but the diameter is more than 7 centimeters. Stage 3. Cancer has spread to the nearby lymph nodes, but do not involve distant organs. Stage 4. Cancer has spread to both near and distant lymph nodes and to other organs in the body such as the brain and lungs. Treatment. Treatment options may include surgery to remove part or all of the kidney, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, biologic therapy to boost your body's own defenses to fight cancer cells, targeted therapy, which is targeted to attack certain cancer cells without damaging healthy cells. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.